30 years ago, uh, the biggest and best vow I ever made was the, the marriage vow. And the marriage vow, we had a phenomenally short service. And uh, there was one part of the service that was, that's very, very easy for me to uh, do, and that was uh, for sickness or health. And I come by that honestly. I come by that through my mother. When we were kids, the only time we got brownies or cookies was mom would make an extra batch because she would go to the hospital to bring uh, cookies or brownies to, to patients. And she did this not because she was Mother Teresa or, I mean, she was a phenomenally nice person, but it was the right thing to do. So that notion of when people are sick, you do, you do for them. And you don't, it's nothing noble or great. It's important to them and it's part of community. So that's something that's been important in my life. So seven years ago, I had two friends, uh, unfortunately, they were terminally ill. One of them had cancer, and the other one had uh, a disease, Bernie, the same thing that Bernie Mac died of, a, a disease I can't pronounce. So me and Brother Ray, the one who had this uh, illness, the one of, uh, uh, Bernie Mac had, basically in meetings, we were, the, uh, we were in our 40-year-old bodies, but we acted like ninth grade smart asses in geography class. And it got to the point where we had to be separated. And uh, like in consultation, we couldn't be in the same group. So we would silently protest. We would hold up signs, no justice, no peace, and separate but not equal. So and now you have to understand, now when Ray got sick, uh, he was, before that, he was barrel chested. He was a motorcycle rider. Uh, he had been a Navy recruiter. We were, we were both therapists. And, uh, he was barrel-chested, and he liked to uh, run, he liked to box, so he was a phenomenally healthy person before this happened. So it was, it was kind of sad, obviously it was sad seeing him, his body deteriorate to the point where he started uh, first using a walker, and then he had TIAs. So none of my wa uh, co-workers could, could go visit him, um, and, and I didn't pass judgment on that. They were very, very candid. I'm not going to go visit him and break into tears is what they said. Um, so it probably was better that they didn't go visit him. Uh, so anyway, about, I don't know, every month and a half, two months, I would kind of alternate between seeing my two friends. So uh, Brother Ray, we, you know, we're close. And, and when we visited, it was we would just talk stupid stories about growing up, you know, the things you would do uh, if you had buddies over, the same sort of conversations. Obviously, I would ask about his health. So this is about seven years ago. I went to his house to thank him. This was after the death of, of our oldest son. And I thanked him for his presence with the way he had handled his disease. Now, I don't know how he was with his wife and with his kids. He might have been totally different. But with me, I always appreciated the fact uh, of how steadfast he was and... and um, you know, I, as a little boy, I'd read, uh, what was that, uh, Death Be Not Proud. So it, it wasn't that way. But I always appreciated the fact that he was, he was solid and he was grounded, even though this terrible thing was befalling him. So I thanked him for the way he carried himself. Uh, and he was quiet for a while. And he told me, he says, you know, one day I'm going to walk again. Now, this is someone who had had this illness for a year and his legs had atrophied to half the size of, uh, of what they had formerly been. And a, and a couple of months later, he, he died. He never walked again, obviously. But I was thinking, like, what a phenomenal gift he gave me. You know, here I am. I, I'm going there to, you know, maybe lift his spirits or whatever. But the gift he gave me was amazing. And that was that sense of hope. That was the flower growing out of the uh, pavement, I guess. I was in a, in a funk, and I was, uh, you know, I guess Freud calls it Thanatos, where you're only thinking about, you know, the next life or whatever. But it's like, damn, if Brother Ray can be thinking about he's going to walk again, I can have hope too. So anyway, that was, a, I guess, a promise I kind of inherited to my mom, is if somebody's sick, you got to go visit them. Thank you.